All right, guys, this isn't the video I planned for today, but we do have some worthy GTA 6 news to talk about, which is, of course, always exciting. Whenever there's actual worthy news about GTA 6 and stuff to share, I'll make sure to update you guys. I don't cover useless information, like let's say there's a rumor that a Rockstar employee pooped six times exactly, which means GTA 6 is just around the corner. That's just some BS. Anyway, this comes from a pretty reliable source. We've talked about him in the past. This comes from Tez Funds 2. He said this in the GTA forum site. Their aimed, always changing, not set in stone deadline is holiday season 2024, which has been pushed back multiple times the past few years. Unfortunately, it could slip into early 2025 as well. This is huge news, so their ultimate, like, main goal is to get it to us, as in a game release, not just a reveal, of course, is holiday 2024. That's literally next year. Yeah, it's at the end of next year, but it's still next year. He said it could get pushed to early 2025, which which is two years away, I'm still kind of happy about this information. As long as it's within two years away, I'm very happy and super excited. That's just me personally, of course. You might feel different, which is fine. Then he says, speaking of which, most companies are returning with a forced return to office policy to revert back to pre-pandemic days. Activision Blizzard, which is another game developing company, if you don't know, they are responsible for Call of Duty. He says Activision is already met with internal backlash. Rockstar is no different. The debate and consequences of the policy is a whole other topic. Pretty much what this means is Rockstar Games is demanding that all their employees are returning to office because some of their employees just work from home ever since COVID started and now they want everybody to be in office probably because some people are just slacking at home and I don't really blame them. I know personally when I was still in high school I didn't do much work at home just because it's really easy to slack off. I need to be in a classroom to fully concentrate about about whatever I'm doing and with school doing everything at home is just not the greatest setting for a lot of people because you just want to do other stuff like you know free time because that's one of the main things people do at home I mean and so what happened at Activision when Activision did this whole returning to office thing some of their employees either refused or just straight up quit the company when they did that and something that could be a problem for Rockstar Games is some of their employees quitting because they have to return back to office and that would probably end up up delaying the game a little bit. Let's all hope that just doesn't happen at all and we just get the game as fast as possible, but hopefully we still get a good product with it. That's most important. We don't want to get an unfinished game. That would be horrible. Then next he says, with almost the entirety of the workforce in office, Rockstar could be very firm about an announcement this year, yet losing work talent could very much lead to delays, which is just what we talked about. In the last paragraph, it says, I personally see an announcement as a given this year. I don't think the up management is in a position to delay further to holiday 2025 or 2026. Cutting more portions of the game to package into DLCs to release later on may be sustainable for management than delaying further. So basically what he's saying that they may release a good chunk of the game but not like a gigantic game and then leave a good amount of content for upcoming DLCs that would come out which I don't think is a bad thing as long as the base game we get is very good. As long as the base game is great then I'm fine with them leaving some of the content out for DLCs to come. On top of this news, it's also been confirmed that we are going to be getting DLCs in the year of 2023, which means the summer DLC is coming, then a winter DLC is coming. If the game does end up coming 2024, I wonder if they're going to give GTA 5 Online DLCs. We'll have to wait and see. There's definitely a lot to look forward to. We just have to keep being patient, unfortunately. Whenever more news is going to come out, I'll make sure to keep you guys covered. It looks like we can confidently say that we're going to be getting a reveal this year which is huge i just can't wait to see that beautiful looking gta vi logo and click the video on screen now if you want to see a one dollar versus ten million dollar house in gta 5 i hope you all enjoy that video and peace